everybody. We are here in Westford and we are going out on a wildlife exploration with hunter and naturalist Mike Frisbee. I've been wandering these woods for 25 plus years now, hunting, and then I'm basically out here every weekend. They're running 11 trail cams over a mile and a half loop that I've just getting, gotten some fantastic footage of nature at its finest and, and at its best and just doing what they do and he's going to share his footage of all the animals and wildlife with us. We're going out on a walk today. We may or may not meet any of those animals. You can tell if it's coyote by if there's hair in it from a rabbit, from a squirrel, from whatever. And it has little bits of seeds because they will eat anything they can. So part of your um, exploration, getting to know animals, huh? is scat investigation. Oh, yes. <laughs> this time of year, I think it's January 6th through the 27th is the coldest time of the year in Vermont. Life is hard up here right now. They're scratching and clawing every animal to survive and live. Actually, these tracks are in the last day or so. You could see where they, the deer just pawed into that, that bank again, looking for understory to eat. This is my temple. This is my church, the jobs I've had for Oh, my whole work and career are hugely people oriented. And this, uh, this is, I mean, nothing, right? Pure silence. And it gets even more silent the further we go up in. So it's just, everything slips away, whether you're hunting or doing what we're about to do now, you just become like at peace. And so it's, it's my temple, my church, if you will. These trails up here are generational. They've been used for generations. And a deer trail promotes other wildlife. The fisher's gonna follow it, the foxes. Where the deer goes, others go. I'm not the only human that wanders around up here. And because I've become part of their world, because I'm up here every weekend, I've had deer come up and lick a camera like an hour after I'm gone. Just the solitude, the peace. If you're gonna get off the beaten path, I highly recommend that's where you're gonna see wildlife. The less humans, the better. Just look for mixed forest. You know, I've had chickadees land on my cap and look down over at me. A deer bedding 15 feet away. Barred owl coming down at a vole and just getting it and flying back up into his tree, gobbling it down. And none of them know you're there. You're just there and you become part of their world. Owl's flight is silent. And what do we just see? You didn't even hear. It's a barred owl. Big one. Like, oh, I see him, I see him, yes. These tracks are in my tracks. Sportsmen and women are conservationists. I've been hunting for 48 years now. I'm also a Vermont hunter education instructor. We all have this common bond. We all love and appreciate nature, what it offers, and the opportunity to harvest the most pure meat in the world. Through the local war movement, especially in Vermont, in these times, it's a lot of them were knowing where my food comes from. And it comes from, from up there. This is deer poop. One of my main studies has been an always deer. I got a first tattoo at 57 of a deer in my totem. Grasses, woody stuff, that's what it consists of. And it doesn't, oh, oh it's a good smell. It doesn't stink. <laughs> like little M&M &M machines. <laughs> Patience, perseverance, and being one with, with the woods and nature. It's so much time in the woods over the years, you just, Again, it's a constant learning and, and researching and studying different things that you may or may not know about. This is called a swale. It's in an area where it's a, kind of in a dip and it's moist, but everything revolves around here because there's going to be, you know, in the pecking order, mice and voles in this grass for the barred owl, for the fox. These trail cams I have out, I encourage you to get trail cams off the beaten path. Find somewhere away from people. These aren't just set randomly in the woods. These are pinch points, travel corridors. When I am fortunate enough to harvest a deer, there's just this moment where I don't go up, yeah, I got a deer. It's just, it's a very solemn moment where I'll place my hand on the deer and hopefully its spirit goes up into and through me. And I think it's, a, it's respect. 
older generation starts to go, there's less and less of tradition being passed on. The hope is to reinvigorate the the sport. And once you're in it, you just you just dedicated to it and the wildlife around you and the animals that you hunt. Oh, maybe man. it was a grouse party or something. Yeah, it could be a couple. Of them. Wow. Yeah. I guess a deep appreciation for any of them that are out here. You know, I have otters, fishers, bobcats, fox, coyotes, bear, moose pass through. So I think the appreciation of all the animals and what they face. And today, the snow is nice and quiet, which is good. It's an otter holt. Um, but it's unoccupied at the moment. Unoccupied. There are opportunities like this. There's 81 wildlife management areas in Vermont that don't have trails on them. They're managed for wildlife. Just check it out, get off the beaten path. Perfect way to start the new year. We will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. I know there's a lot of turmoil in our nation right now, but hey, there's some good stuff going on. Vermonters are getting their vaccines and hopefully we have a better year ahead. Take care, everybody. There we are. Yeah, that's a great shot. That's funny. Ha <laughs> ha.